How's it going, guys? Z Knight here, and I'm just so glad school's over. You don't understand school. Like, if you're especially if you're out of school, you don't understand how hard school is right now. You just have so many, so much work to do, and just the teachers. Oh my God, I'm I'm a pretty good student. I believe I'm like, I don't get in trouble at all. I haven't got a running up or anything. But the teachers at school, they can either just be so annoying, or just just so exhausting some of their classes you have so much work to do in there and you don't understand like we be working 24 7 now nah, it's more like eight hours but still it takes forever in some classes they just ruin your day we have this teacher he's a science teacher every single day i dread it going to his class because his class just like ruined my whole entire day i could be having the best day ever and i'd be like uh, i gotta go to this dude's class yeah, he's a science teacher, and I learn absolutely nothing. If I'm going to do a class, you know, the best way for me to do good in that class is if you teach us good. Like, I want to at least do some work, some work that I'm going to learn something from if I'm going to be doing work in general. Why are you going to do work and you're not going to learn nothing? For half the year, we just did, like, we just literally wrote from the book, and that was the worst thing ever. Like, towards the end of the year, I just... I didn't even want to do it anymore. On the last day of school, he had us trying to write an essay. I was like, for what? <laughs> nah, but like, the grades have been already turned in the week before. Because it was the end of the year. And he was literally the only teacher that was trying to get us to do work in there. If you didn't know, this is the end of my uh, freshman year. And all the freshmen had to take this, uh, this class. It was called Teen Leadership. And... The teacher in there was, don't get me wrong, she was one of the nicest teachers I've ever seen in my whole entire life. But she was, like, creepy nice. Like, she was kind of crazy, not gonna lie. Like, we we do, like, most childish stuff ever, like, in that class. Like, I thought this was high school. I didn't know we were gonna be doing arts and crafts in that class. And, like, if you got in trouble in that class, it, she she would make it so awkward. She'd be like, I'm not writing you up because I... Because I hate you. I'm writing you up because I love you. Because I love you. But she didn't do it like that. But, like, it felt like that because, you know, teachers aren't supposed to tell you they love you. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's against some teacher-student rule that, like, nobody's made up. But I'm pretty sure it's, it's like, unwritten rules right there. But honestly, this was... This year went by fast. I know you probably heard this a bunch of times, but if you're going to high school this year, have fun at least, like, because your high school year is going to go through really fast, because I did not think this year was going to be that fast. One of the best things is that I don't have to wake up at like 6, 7 in the morning, having to go talk to people, got to go talk to other people and stuff like that, and if you just don't feel like talking that day, people don't think that you're crazy or something if you don't talk to them. Or if you're not having fun or nothing. Like, because some days you just don't want to talk. I don't know about y'all, but I hate school, but I love it at the same time. And let me know if you had teachers that are crazy and a little stupid. All right, guys, I hope you like this conversation. I hope you like the webcam. It was just something new I was trying, and hopefully if you like it, I'm going to keep it up. All right, guys, it's been Z-Night, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.